A revolution is happening in the United States, and I am part of it. I'm an American, raised to be proud of my Mexican heritage. I'm a Latina, and this is the story of my people. Right now, we're talking about 55 million Latinos. In 35 years from now, there will be 100 million Latinos or more in all the United States. In other words, one in three in this country will be Hispanic. Every 30 seconds, a Latino turns 18. That's incredible. That means more than 66,000 Latinos turn 18 every single month. This is the future of the country. Most of the children today in our school district, and we have 30,000 children, over 90% are American born of foreign parents. This school district has gone from 7% Latino to 97% Latino in 50 years. Latinos and immigrants in general are like the slave class in the United States because of the fact that they take the jobs that citizens over here wouldn't want to take. My parents work pretty much every day of the week. For as long as they're awake, they work. And they gave up so much to come over here. And they work so hard for my sister and I that I have to be successful just for them. But we have the good fortune to have these young people here. Uh, and uh, the story I like to tell is we should be so happy about it. They're a demographic gift to the United States. Why did Mexico? Because life is very Andamos buscando mejor vida. Esta es una tienda chiquita, pero este son, son los que mueven el mercado más que, la, que todas las otras personas. Sí, la, la gente hispana. The biggest thing that we had to overcome was the fear that what are the Latinos, you know, what, how, what kind of neighbors are they going to be? The Latinos are much like, you know, the Iowans. They believe in church, family, and work. We cannot deport them. We cannot punish them. It would be to our benefit to bring them into the system, document them, let them be law-abiding citizens so that they have the rights and they have the responsibility of citizenship. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime, they're rapists. La Onda Latina. ¿Qué es lo que más te duele de los comentarios que él hizo? Eh, aquí en América, con papeles y sin papeles, a todos nos quitan taxes, igual impuestos, igual compremos, trabajemos, y eso no se da cuenta. Oye, Mariso, como quien dice, tú no vas a votar por él, ¿eh? Por supuesto que no, lo voy a votar por la basura. <laughs> ¿Lo vas a votar a la basura? <laughs> Así es. For so long considered second class citizens, Latinos are now taking their rightful place in society. And with their fast-growing numbers, they're changing the political landscape of the United States. Once political pawns, Latinos are now political kingmakers. Their vote holds the key to the White House. You can't stop the fact that Latinos right now are 55 million and there will be 100 million. You can't stop that. And either you accept it or you deny it. But if you deny it, you're simply not living in this country.